Welcome back to our video roundup. I'm Michael Marshall, and I'm going to take you through our favourite science videos of the last week. First of all, we have a skeleton with a freaky looking fake tongue that can mouth words. Sandrine Kirstemont tells us more. This is Anton, a mechanical tongue and jaw that can mimic how muscles in the mouth produce sounds. It's made from soft silicone that behaves like a real tongue, changing shape but not volume when pressure is applied to it. Motors inside the tongue are attached to fiber meshes that move like real muscles. Researchers created Anton to help them better understand how a mouth produces sounds without having to embed electrodes in people's tongues. They're hoping that Anton will help them design better speech recognition software. This technology currently has problems when speech isn't uniform or when people slur their words. If you've ever seen the Northern Lights and wondered what causes them, NASA researchers may have the answer. Auroras are linked to sudden tremors in the magnetic field around the Earth, but the exact sequence of events was unclear. NASA's Themis mission recently sent up four satellites to investigate further. They were lined up on the night side of the Earth, where the solar wind distorts the Earth's magnetic field. The probes tracked what happened before and after an aurora sighting. The first event they witnessed was two magnetic field lines reconnecting. This fired particles towards the Earth to create an aurora. Afterwards, there was a surplus of charged particles which were flung towards the planet. Researchers were surprised by the sequence of events, as they expected the aurora to occur last. Another fleet of satellites will continue the investigation in 2009. Finally, this video may look like footage of a lava lamp, but it's actually a simulation of magma rising up beneath the Earth's crust. Sandrine takes up the story. Scientists simulated plumes of magma by placing syrups of different densities in a tank and gently heating them from below. When the bottom layer wasn't very dense, the syrup rose in the mushroom shape. But when a denser syrup was used, it cooled down as it made its way to the surface, distorting the shape of the plume. Here, the syrup at the bottom of the tank is similar to the one in the previous clip, but above it there are several layers of syrup with varying densities. The dense syrup cools down as it rises, but it's still denser than surrounding layers, so fragments sink to the bottom. This more complex model of magma could help explain why some claim that mushroom plumes don't exist. That's all for now, but there are lots more science and technology stories on our website. Find out about a new robot on wheels that can jump over obstacles, or watch our series of interviews about why people hate reason. See you next time.